Air Force Academy family is voicing their frustrations. They say their daughter took her own life after the Academy ignored policies her father implemented when he was employed at the Academy nearly 20 years ago. Cardio 13 investigator Quinn Ritzdorf is live at the Air Force Academy tonight after talking with that family. Quinn. The Department of Defense says reports of sexual assault on military academies is at an all-time high and has been increasing nearly every year since 2007. Kaylin Foster is part of this terrible trend. Her family says the Air Force Academy failed to respond to her report of a sexual assault during her freshman year. Vivacious, just sunny, her nickname Sunshine. Kaylin Foster was accomplished during her time at the Air Force Academy, but it wasn't without obstacles. Her family says she was sexually assaulted her freshman year and then struggled with mental health. After graduating, she died by suicide in November of 2021. She left her family this note saying, do all that you can to make sure I'm the last one. 20 years earlier, her dad, Gary Foster, tried doing just that. I was in charge of rewriting the entire, all the policies in the cadet wing, and, and I also ran disenrollment. So I saw the good, I saw the bad, and I saw the really ugly. After a sexual assault scandal in 2003, Gary created new reforms and policies while employed at the academy. He says the death of his daughter shows those policies are no longer in place. It's just so frustrating yeah. when 20 years ago you tried to fix all this stuff, and you see the exact same mistakes that they made. They backslid. They backslid. They failed to run every single measure. A couple of weeks ago, the family filed a wrongful death claim against the Air Force, alleging the Academy failed to protect her from sexual assault and didn't help with her mental health. The Fosters say better chain of command for sexual assault reporting and required mental health counseling are just some of the policies that should be implemented. Change has to be made because all these other families are suffering. I don't want to see another family in the future suffer. The Air Force Academy says it can't comment on Kaylin Foster's case, but it does say that it is making updates to better address sexual assaults and treat mental health. Reporting live from the Air Force Academy, Quinrit Storff, KRDO 13